Hello, I'm NP. You know, the threshold of attention is so damn high these days. My old friend Chris Edge uh, departed from this channel because we had a disagreement about uh, this case. He said that without some sort of drama and controversy, numbers will not grow. Despite that I agree, I just said, fuck numbers, I don't care about this shit. There's already enough hate around. Still, if you clicked on this video because of the thumbnail, that's, of course, drama. Surely you suspect uh, an angry old man raging about software developers, praising old times when everyone was just pirating games. No, it will not be like that. This thumbnail is just about my personal reaction and decision about a mistake. So, around one month ago, the game publisher Ubisoft removed the car MMO, the crew, from existence. Most probably they had all the legal base to do it. You know, it's written in this tiny lettered shit that you had to scroll through when you buy a software. But let's be real, no one is fucking reading it. Even if you take the time, then most probably without being a lawyer you will not see all the traps and the verbal tricks that will force you, the customer, on the losing side when something goes wrong. You know, I'm a simple guy, so I can understand simple things. So, if uh, during advertising and purchasing it's not clearly defined that the actual product is a rental and not a purchase, then I tend to think that I actually own it. And I cannot recall anything like that in the case of the crew. It was advertised and sold as any other game. So, the way I see it, I buy a dog from a big kennel. It's not clearly defined that this dog is special. Of course, you are aware of that this dog has a pacemaker that is operated remotely online. But otherwise, this dog is just like any other dog. Playing, eating, shitting to the wrong places, trying to hump the legs of visitors and being your friend. You just live your life and enjoy the company. Then one day you get a letter from the big kennel that sold you this dog, saying Hello user. Three months from now we will shoot down the remote control pacemaker of the dog. After that it will die. You have 90 days to say goodbye. We are sort of sorry but it will be done. It is what it is. Goodbye. This is an automated message, it is futile to answer. So you go, hey bro, this dog is completely healthy. So honestly, what the fuck? I thought it's my dog but now you are saying that it's your dog? So just don't kill it, okay? And when you try to find answers about it, you realize that they were not joking about this being a one-way communication. It is what it is, goodbye. Hmm, noise. And for real, the day comes and the dog collapses dead. And the other day, as if nothing happened, the same kennel tries to sell you other dogs. And when you check that, do these have the pacemaker as well? And all of them do. So my questions as a customer, when the others will be killed? And how can I trust a seller like this, who doesn't even react to my question and doesn't try to find a solution? Or in general, just put any effort into some sort of solution? Well, I don't need the Supreme Court to have my decision that is, breaking my connection with it as a customer until they solve this matter officially. And I don't think it's a matter of resources because we are talking about one of the biggest game publishers in the world. And the solution just shouldn't be some arbitrary things, I mean switching back the servers, because they're gone. Okay, fine, we get it. But the crew had a complete single-player campaign, so it is playable offline. And if it's playable offline, then it is possible to create an offline patch. Also, it is possible to give some tools to the community modders saying, OK, if you still want this dog, here are some batteries for your pacemaker and goodbye. Do whatever. So anyway, until it's officially resolved, 
I will not buy anything from this company. It's a pity because they have a couple of games that I enjoyed throughout the years. Going back even to the 80s, Commodore 64 titles like Defender of the Crown or Iron Lord. But you know what? I'm just a simple guy, a simple customer. And no Doug, no money. Anyway, beyond my personal reaction, decision and opinion about it, there is a big picture. If companies can get away with something like this, then there is a very dark future waiting for us. So, there's a private movement started by Mr. Ross Scott. It's called StopKillingGames.com. You can find all the description and guideline of what to do. Check the link below in the video description. If this movement grows into a thing, then maybe big companies will be forced out of such a behavior. And please, finally, don't get me wrong, I'm not angry. There's just something happened that shouldn't have happened, and it has personal consequences, like breaking a customer connection or applying to a movement that wants to prevent such things in the future. I hope everything will be resolved. Very simply put, if the dog comes back, money. But no dog, no money. NP out. See you somewhere in time.